Regardless of how long you've been in the industry, I still see people struggle with the concept of the decibel. We're going to do some decibel math here. A decibel is defined as 10 times the logarithmic relationship of two powers. So I'm going to compare one power against another power. So I have power 1 and power 2. And then I'm going to take the logarithmic relationship of those two powers, and I'll use the log button or log function here on the calculator for that. And then I will multiply that times 10. And the result that I'm going to get is in decibels. So I'm comparing this power against that power. And one of the things that comes up is, OK, what numbers do I put where? Well, let's start with the condition of unity. Let's say I'm going to compare 100 watts to 100 watts, comparing powers here. Well, if it's the same thing in, same thing out, no change, no gain or attenuation, we would call that unity. So let's take 100, compare it against 100. We're going to take the logarithmic relationship of that, and we're going to multiply that times 10. I really don't even need the calculator for 100 divided by 100. That would simply be 1. So 10 times the logarithmic relationship of 1. Let's take log from the log function, 1, and I can close a parenthesis. Hit the Enter key in the lower right, and that is 0. 10 times 0, and that would be 0. And we would expect that. There's no change, input, output, same thing in, same thing out. Let's start a little different here. Let's say I go from 100 watts to 200 watts. I've doubled the power. If I have an increase, well, then I expect gain. So I expect an increase or a positive number. I would put the larger number first. Let's see what we get. The change in decibels, 10 times the logarithmic relationship, and I'm going from 100 to 200. I'm increasing, so larger number first. I'm expecting a positive result. 200 divided by 100. Now, one of the nice things is that the TI-30 will allow you to put in the entire equation. Now, I can do this step by step if I like, but I can simply go, okay, 10 times log function. You can see the parentheses is opened up. 200 divided by 100. Close the parentheses, so my entire logarithmic equation is now entered. Go to the lower right-hand side, and the result is 3.01, and you can see the rest of it. Practically speaking, we would know that as a three decibel increase, and you would probably know this already. Every time I double power or cut power in half, I would expect a three decibel change. So if I went from, and let's do a decrease. Let's go from 400 watts down to 200 watts. I started with 400. I go to 200. I expect a negative number. I'm expecting a decrease. By expecting decrease, I would put the smaller number first. So let's try that. 10 times the logarithmic relationship, smaller number first, because I'm starting with 400 and I expect a decrease. I expect a negative number. We clear all that out, enter in 10 log 200 divided by 400, close that parenthesis, and there we go, a negative three decibels rounded. And again, we've doubled power here. There's a difference of only 100 watts in the first example, but a difference of 200 watts in the second example. The lesson here is every time we double or cut power in half, it's a three decibel change. OK, don't we do distance and voltage and all these kinds of things? Yeah, certainly. Because if we look at Ohm's law, we will see that the square of the voltage is related to power in Ohm's law. So when we do distance or voltage, in other words, anything but power, we're going to use a 20 times the log of instead of the 10 times the log of. Let's try a 20 log equation. So I'm going to start to, uh, let's say we start off and I'll just draw this out. We have a loudspeaker on a stick and start out at 20 meters away. And then I move to a distance of 40 meters away. I have doubled the distance away from the source. How many less decibels would I expect here at position 2 as compared to position 1? So I'm moving further away from the source, so I would expect a reduction. If I expect a reduction, a negative number, then I would put the smaller number first. So the difference in decibels, and since this is not power, we're using the 20 log equation. I started off at 40 meters, went to 20 meters. I expect a reduction, smaller number first. Plug that into our calculator, so 20 
20 log function, 20 divided by 40, close that out, yes, I would expect rounded six decibels less. And you would know this as the inverse square law, or sometimes the 6 dB per doubling rule. So when we deal with distances and voltages, or anything other than power, every time I double or cut in half, we find that's a 6 decibel change. Let's do one with voltage. Let's say I measure 0 0.8 volts, and then I increase it to 1.2 volts. What's the expected increase in decibels? Since it's voltage, we do a 20 log equation. I'm expecting an increase, a positive result. So the larger number goes first as compared to 0 0.8 volts. Let's see what that looks like. 20 log 1.2 divided by 0 0.8, close that paren, I would find that the difference in decibels between those two voltage levels, and you can see the number going from here, but basically rounded about three and a half decibels change. So if I go from 0 0.8 volts up to 1.2 volts, I might see an increase of about three and a half decibels. There's one other thing that you may see. Instead of just comparing voltage one against voltage two, which is what we're doing here, or distance one against distance two, you may also see an R value. And that R would mean it's a reference. So I may have something like a DR. Where would I see a DR? Something like a loudspeaker specification, something that says it's like 88 dB SPL, one watt at one meter. That one meter there would be a reference distance. A couple of other references that I'll see, these are voltage references. In fact, there are two different voltage references that you'll probably see. Depending on whether we're doing the dBU or dBV, my zero reference is going to be a little different. Zero dBU equals 0 0.775 volts. Zero dBV equals one volt. So I could be comparing two voltages, voltage one against a voltage reference. I'll need to know if that reference is using dBU or dBV, as you see the difference in voltage there. But anytime you see an R reference, that is referring to a specific reference, like out of a specification or another known zero. Any other time, I'm comparing just this relative number against that relative number. Or I may be comparing something to a known reference. So hopefully that'll walk you through your 10 and 20 log. The easiest way to remember if I'm easiest way to remember if I'm doing power, it's a 10 log equation. If it's anything other than power, I'm going to be using the 20 log equation.